Hi, I'm Amanda Winley. This is Mom's Guide to Cannabis. Today we're going to talk about the endocannabinoid system. A million years ago, back in the 1980s, everyone knew that weed made you kind of goofy, but no one had any real idea what THC and CBD did once it entered your bloodstream. They were fascinated to find that the chemicals didn't just run around all willy-nilly. They went to very specific spots. The endocannabinoid system is like an overall thermostat for maintaining your body's homeostasis. It controls things like body temperature, hormones, development, pain sensation, appetite, mood, and and memory. Anyway, there's two different kinds of receptors in the endocannabinoid system. The first are called CB1 receptors. They're found in your brain and in your spinal cord. They're the ones that the THC interacts with and makes life kind of fun. The second set of receptors are rather disappointingly called CB2 receptors. You find those in the tissues of your immune system and in your digestive tract. The endocannabinoids in weed are bioidentical to the cannabinoids your own body produces, so your body's already set up to process all that weedy goodness. For example, when you take CBD, it activates the endocannabinoid system and reduces the sensation of pain and reduces inflammation. That's why everyone's really excited about stuff like CBD. We still have a lot to learn, but some scientists are calling the endocannabinoid system the most important physiological system in terms of establishing and maintaining human health. That's pretty crazy considering we just found out that it exists. That's all I've got for you. Stay safe and have fun. This is a Mom's Guide to Cannabis. Please do leave me any questions you have about the endocannabinoid system in the comments. Some scientists are calling the endocannabinoid system the most important physiological system in terms of establishing and maintaining human health. That's pretty badass. That's impressive. That's a lot. That's kind of crazy. Thank you so much for watching. I love you. Ugh.